Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and it's that time of a year again. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today, we're going to be going over my top five favorite demos of 2022. While we blast some uh, Mortise. Oh yeah, this is the legendary demo. The song of a long forgotten ghost. Very, actually amazingly reissued by, um, I always mess this label's name up for some dumb reason. But Darkness Shall Rise Records. Hell's Headbangers has tons of Mortis reissue shit. Just a heads up. And just, they did such a killer job here. And Mortis apologizes. The musical mistakes committed on this recording, 95% was done at one take. So, fuck off. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. But also... Just keeping it real. Probably one of, you know, not the best Mortis recording, but one of my personal favorites, a great addition to your Dungeon Synth collection, obviously. But I personally, I love his debut full length so fucking much. But the demo is also on a whole. It's a, it's a monster in its own way. But also... have to bring up the sophomore release because this is another just pure banger from Mortis and these are available also on Hell's Head Bangers from Funeral Industries and they're running low on stock I got that this is on like Oxblood Red which matches the cover very, like, it matches the clouds and shit. It's super sick, actually. There he is. Oh. But these sound great. The cassette sounds amazing. So, yeah. It's one of those things where, like, I know Hell's Headbangers usually have a gnarly Black Friday sale. This shit's probably going to be sold out by then, so just a heads up. If you're a fan of Mortis, Out of Season has $24 zip-ups. That's fucking sick. And Hell's Headbangers has tons of t-shirts and music, CDs tapes and vinyl so back to the subject at hand demos of the year now this isn't a demo but i'm throwing it in here it's technically a live rehearsal but i can't pronounce this so the morgue breath rehearsal tape slash promo i don't know what they want to consider it Aside from fucking disgustingly awesome. I've been trying to get the more breath demo, but could not find a cassette version. I could only find a terrible mutation CD version. But this is just top shelf filth. Morgue breath. Head Split Records. Hails Josh Urat. And Josh had a... Josh had a lot to do with three of these five. Next up... I'm just going to 
ago of a black metal release, and this is a total banger from members of bands that you definitely listen to and like. And that is Live Sick with Solace in Worms on Transylvania Recordings. Here is a promotional copy, which is... I. They both sound exactly the same, but I just grabbed the promotional copy. But Transylvania Recordings did the official release. Oh my god. So good. Like, absolutely just... Yeah. The cover sums it up. You know what you're getting into here. Nice, real easy to read logo. But now, in all seriousness, this shit, you know, it's not, like, overly raw. It's exactly where it really needs to be. I did not get a chance to really check out that many black metal demos this year. So, with Solace and Worms, just, you know, it hit everything it really needed to in my book. And especially, you know, not going the total, like, raw black metal route, but still, like, having it not super polished. Fuck yeah. This is so good, especially if you're looking for black metal that has riffs. Live Sick, Solace in Worms on Transylvanian Recordings. Thank you again, guys for the heads up because the heads up and the promo tape and here's some heavy hails to uh, Dismal Fate for just even keeping me aware that this band existed after kind of gushing over like uh massacred and stuff I'm just hoping that this is actually a 20 yes it is this is a 2022 release I need to make 100% sure and I'm talking about Mortuary Ghoul with Corpse Exumption fuck yeah total mortician Worship done so well, it's ridiculous. Because I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be negative, but let's be real. I know some of you would like anything new Mortician put out, but the reality is they haven't honestly done a good record, in my opinion, in a very, very long time. Like, I I actually got rid of my copy of Reanimated Dead Flesh, like, probably uh, over 12 years ago. Um, I don't know, like, Domain of Death, even, like, you know, I haven't heard it in a long time, so maybe my opinion would change a little bit, but, you know, I really feel like it's certain bands that worship Mortician, especially Incinerated. Incinerated are my personal favorites when it comes to the Mortician worship, but they've been kind of doing their own thing, but if you go back to the early shit, like, before Lobotomize, even. Like, Lobotomize is so fucking good, especially with the live drums. But, um... Yeah, Mortuary Ghoul. Follow that, like... Mortician blueprint, but kind of do their own thing at the same time, and it just... Yeah, it's fucking super crushing, and... I really enjoyed this. And this was, like, definitely overshadowing the Massacred full length, in my opinion. Like, as much, I really like the Massacred demos, and the full length's good, 
but this covered again pretty much everything I wanted out of like a brutal death metal band that loves mortician so mortuary ghoul cor corpse exhumate ex whatever corpse exumption I just feel like I'm saying that word wrong for some reason. And now respect NVNM or prepare for eternal combat. This list is not in order, but one new song and some re-recorded oldies that are definitely hard to get if you do not have this bad boy. If you don't know what that is, oh shit, you're gonna have a sick afternoon, cause dive into Altar of Gore, Infinite Visions of Violence. You have one new track, Infinite Visions of Violence, and then Tracks two and three are re-recordings from the self-titled demo tape, and then you get a Hellhammer cover of Aggressor, which is so fucking good. And Joe, or Joe and the NVNM family, rad enough. I don't know if I was just lucky, but getting tape number 10 out of 50, that's a good number. I'm nerdy about that shit. I like, like, for example, for my reissue of the Alter Gore self-titled demo, I have number two out of 25. Like, I don't know. I know that's not a big deal, but, like, I'll, I'm lame about that shit. Like, I remember Joe being like, let me get you a sick number. And at the time, I was kind of like, like, what's he mean? And then I, I was like, oh, like... Because for the promo for Obscure and Obscene Gods, I have number 11 out of 25. And this should go to show you like just how popular Altar of Gore was becoming. After word started spreading around the campfire about Obscure and Obscene Gods, and then the Nameless Graves Records vinyl version, which I just don't feel like digging out, but, oh yeah, along with Blasphematory, Altar of Gore, definitely two of my favorite NVNM related bands, but I love Siege Column to death. Rest in power, Massive Retaliation. But, yeah, the new Altar of Gore, Infinite Visions of Violence. I know it's pretty much one new recorded song, but still... It's better than 99% of new modern death metal. Like, yeah, I stand by that statement. Infinite Visions of Violence, the tune alone. I mean, I, I, it has its own t-shirt. That's how fucking sick it is with that bad boy. So cool. And recorded, you know, in the dungeon. It's I, I just love everything about Altar of Gore. And like NVNM in general, their whole entire aesthetic, everything is so fucking cool. But also the music does speak for itself. Blood mystic signs carved upon their flesh, suspended and changed by vicious sadists. Disemboweled as death chants are intoned, fluids spill forth into the yearning maw. Yes. Fuck yeah. Infinite visions of awesome. Actually, infinite visions of violence, altar of gore, and VNM productions. This is probably sold out, but hey, it's worth checking out. Get into it. Now... This technically would have made last year's list, but it was a DIY press, and it was one per person, and there was just a little bit of confusion at the show. 
So when Head Sport Records, along with 625 Thrash, reissued the Necropsy, well, they didn't reissue, they technically just released officially the Necropsy Odor Tales from the Tepic Cavity demo. Otherwise, this would have been on last year's list. But this did not properly come out until 2022. And it's also available on a 7-inch still, for some reason. This is not sold out on Head Split Records. It might be sold out now, but last I checked, it was not. And I was kind of mind-boggled by that. And I, Josh and I were having a conversation about it also. And you have members of Mephetic Corpse on here. Fratcher, so it's fucking a sick sick lineup and yeah I mean I'm pretty sure Necropsy or, or I, um, I think that was Mephetic Corpse my bad but still like this is one of those demos that's up there with the Fetid demo the Mortifirm Altar of Decay demo the Worm Ridden demos like but stateside, when it comes to modern American underground heavy grinding madness, yeah, Necropsy Odor, Tales from the Tepa Cavity just absolutely nailed it. Filthy, filthy, disgusting fucking death with mincing, grinding madness attached to it as well. It's fucking bloody disgusting and awesome. If you haven't heard this yet, what the fuck are you doing? For real. You're not going to see any prosthetic records releases in here. You might see a head split version of a prosthetic release, but that's it. And lastly, on Extremely Rotten Productions and Noxious Ruin. This is another one that boggles my mind how it was not sold out. And that is Sequestrium, the epitome of putridity demo number one. And this is the Noxious Ruin version, which at the time I was legit just being impatient and. decided, you know, let's just go for this version, but Extremely Rotten has nice hard shell like cases, because you know, as much as I like these, they are kind of a pain and unless you have like a collection, like I'm starting to have like a nice little collection of these type of you know, like the printed shells but they did a great job, as always. It's just, in the long run, I would rather have the hard shell, but, yeah. I legit thought this would sell out immediately, and I was wrong. Again, I was fucking wrong. And even, again, Josh and I were like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this is definitely one of the best demos you know, you're going to hear all fucking year, not just in death metal. Like, I went over this last kind of for a reason, although I said this is not in order because it's not. But yeah, I went over this last because it's probably the fucking absolute sickest of the bunch. I mean, come on. I, it's another band. I'm not even going to go over the fucking personnel. Just... You need to hear this. If you haven't already, then yeah. You're you're missing out on a real banger. Like And you know, that's my demo of the year list. But again, you know, I was I was going through shit and like trying to figure out like alright, like what did I really like the most? And 
I started realizing, like, oh, shit, like, a lot of the stuff you got this year, like, were reissues of stuff that you've been after for a very long time, you know? Like, especially, like, uh, is it Extremely Rotten had this, but Iron Corpse released it? Like, having these demos is a big fucking deal for me. Same with having Musta Cer Ceremonia by Ripa Kalu. Like, but then, like, full length wise, this is going to be really, really hard. And, like, there's even going to be probably, like, a top three split list. But, like, for albums of the year, yeah, like, this was pretty hard to begin with. And I'm sure as soon as I post this, I'm going to be like, fuck, I missed that. God damn it. Because, like, already I was looking at Vengeance Horde and I was like, I really like that demo. Like, fuck. But at the same time, like, these really, you know, I listen to a lot. And... I know a lot of these are just, like, pretty filthy, and especially with, like, Altar of Gore might be kind of hard to physically come by, but as of right now, you should not have too hard of a time getting these releases on multiple formats, because I'm pretty sure this got cassette, CD, and 7-inch. Like, almost 99%. And again, this is the Noxious Ruin version of Sedimentium's The Epitome of Putridity Demo Number 1. Necropsy Odor, Tales from the Tepid Cavity. 625 Thrash and Head Split Records, absolutely e-fucking-sential. Like, for real. I kid you not. Altar of Gore, Infinite Visions of Violence. Continuing with the tradition of gnarly East Coast, New Jersey death metal. Altar of Gore raises that knife high and bludgeons the competition with Infinite Visions of Violence. One new track some re-recorded tracks and a cover equal a great demo tape. Hell yeah. Then, some black metal from Live Sick with Solace in Words. And Solace in Worms to me, again, like, very picky with my black metal. I really like it normally, very dark, raw, and like, savage, but there's just something about Live Six sound on Solace and Worms, because they have a thing called riffs, or like, remember riffs, and yeah, it's just a killer slab of black metal here. Transylvania Recordings, but this is the promotional copy. Thank you guys again because, yeah, unless James would have sent a copy, I probably would have 100% had this go over my head. But um, I'll just give you a hint. There's members of a band that starts with Coffin and ends with Rot that are involved with this band. And Charlie from Ascended Dead might have played drums on it. Might have. Yeah, he did. And, yeah. Get into Solace and Worms, you'll fucking... If you're a fan of black metal, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. Ah, shit. My bad. Hopefully, uh, I don't get some bullshit copyright for playing Mortise. But, lastly, we're gonna go over the Morg Breath rehearsal tape and I really wish I could pronounce this but I legit have zero idea how to and 
I do have to apologize for my ignorance of not being able to speak, like, Spanish. Forgetting, well, you gotta remember, I did have a gnarly brain injury. I forgot that they do not speak Spain, Spanish in Brazil. They speak Portuguese. I, like, 100% forgot that, and I apologize. But, um, when it comes to morgue breath, this is all you need to know. This and just, um, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, I love this rehearsal. It's just fucking so good. It's, yeah. If you haven't heard this yet again, and you never heard a morgue breath, that's what demos are for. For you to explore the underground and find the gems that newer bands have, you know, laid out before you. Because there's a lot of killer shit that came out this year. Like, there really is. I'm looking at a bunch right now. And it's just like, fuck. Like, really, like, fuck. But at the same time, it's like, alright, we're gonna have a sick year-end video. I'm gonna have to borrow a better camera and do a live stream as well, because it's gonna be a, a long-ass fucking video. But, um, yeah. Those are the five demos that really, like, just... Did everything I fucking expected them to do. And even exceeded some expectations. Like, especially with, uh... Live Sick. Like, I had no idea what I was gonna get into. And then when they sent me the link, I was just, like... Waiting for the physical copy to show up in the mail. Like, I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, this is fucking sick. Because it has more in common with, say, wait, did I move? Yes, I did. Oh, wait. Well, let's just say it has more in common with this than, say, this. Get what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. That was a bad example because that was the Billy Anderson <laughs> produced uh, Scar Sighted. I wanted to grab a Zapser demo, but uh, it wasn't where it should be. <laughs> so I apologize. I legit thought it was right here, but it's Grok. Because I started rearranging shit, and of course I need one of the releases. But yeah, it sounds nothing like that. So don't think, you know, you're getting some, like, super grim, raw black metal that you might not be into. Like, on the other hand, like, that's kind of my shit. <laughs> Like, this, I mean, again, this isn't, it's not a demo, so I'm not even going to go over it. So, we'll wait for the, uh, you know, actual, like, e EP list. And, yeah, it's going to make it on there. But, like, album of the year, I've already just been kind of going back and forth with this, with two releases. And they both have members of, like, the same fucking band so it's like all right like, god damn it like they're both so good but one's just a little bit better i think than the other but they're both so well done but one's just a little bit more like just i can't put my finger on it it's just super fucking sick i don't want to spoil it but we were blasting the mortise demo tape Speaking of demos, you know, the song of a long forgotten ghost, this reissue on Darkness Shall Rise is legit, like, really fucking well done.
they killed it here. And there's some stuff about Mortise, like I didn't I didn't really know either. And just this I, I love this cover as well. Like he's just lurking. It, it's so perfect. And I, I'm a total nerd, like when it comes to this type of shit. But like he, here's something that I found very interesting, like um, he's talking about some the uh, coming soon, a twenty to twenty, a twenty-five to thirty-minute song consisting of eight to ten different instruments, being the first music made for the saga of Mortis, which will one day be written, will come in written form, Norwegian language, but possibly in English also. And, uh, you know, it's just fucking sick. Like, everything about this reissue is just perfect, I think. Like, even the, like, the actual cassette, it's just all it needs to be. And Darkness Shall Rise don't fuck around, like, at all. But also, you know, this is, like... Um, official Mortise release. That rhymed. But, like, I love how he has, like, the Dark Dungeon music, like, logo. And Omnipresence also helped put this out. But it's just such a killer release. Especially if you're a fan of Dungeon Synth. Again, you know, like, this is history right here. This is an important release and if you don't like it you know it is what it is i know most people with mortise the first album is like their go-to then some people like the second album and i just uh, i've been listening to the demo a good bit and the demo it definitely can feel semi-repetitive at times but that's kind of the point because you get lost in it but he definitely tightened shit up as the years went on that's why i love this bad boy because he kind of was you know dialing in what mortise really really was and it turns out like you know, there's no filler, pretty much. Like, it's just exactly what it needs to be. And it's one of the reasons why I love Fangoradrim so much. Because he really, really, really encapsulates that Mortise vibe, like, 120%. And it's just done so fucking good. Like, I think he even thanks Mortise. It might be on the vinyl. Oh, right, right here. Yep. To the magic of Mortise and the master of fantasy, J.R.R. Tolkien. Fuck yeah. So, Fangoradrim. I've gone over him on the channel. And, yeah, I fucking love that stuff. And, again, if you're a fan of Dungeon Synth, very essential shit right here, as well as this bad boy. But you know that already. And then, if you want to go down that mighty, dark, ambient rabbit hole, Osa Coronata will guide your hand into the abyss. Like, this is probably one of my favorite releases I got this year, and it's a reissue from 2017, I think, of just minimal as hell dark ambient music. Like, one of my favorite releases. But, yeah.
And if you're like, where's Time Wave Zero? Time Wave Zero is a EP. So calm down. And again, if anything here is accidentally considered an EP, I apologize. But to me, it's a demo. So again, it's just my opinion. But I apologize if you consider it like an EP. But yeah, you know, that's what I mean. I legit couldn't pick a favorite out of this bunch, but it would probably be between these two. The Epitome of Putridity and Tales from the Tepid Cavity. They're both just super fucking sick. And yeah, everybody needs to listen to both of those. And yeah, I hope, I, well, I know for a fact, because I know a lot of you love like Windigong and like Frenolith. You're going to love fucking Sequestered on. I just feel like I don't know. Like again, not one person besides Josh like hit me up about like sequestrium or necropsy odor or morgue breath. That's what I mean. Like that shit. Like Josh was like the one that was like, "Hey, have you heard this yet?" And like especially with necropsy odor, like he went to a show and tried to get me the demo tape in 2021 even got the fucking vid like trying to get like this was you know when shows first started opening back up and uh yeah there was a misunderstanding and he couldn't get a copy because legit this would have been the demo of the year for last year because technically there were copies floating around last year but it wasn't officially released until this year so it's on this fucking list. I think I even mentioned it in last year's video. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you again to Josh, Liz, the Patreon, Pat, everybody else, Aaron, everybody that watches this channel, supports in any way, shape, or form. Nathan. Just tons of fucking sick people. NVNM, Transylvanian Recordings, Caligari Records, Head Split Records, Extremely Rotten, Dark Descent, fucking uh, J-Dog at uh, Hell's Headbangers. Just, you know, Dismal Fate. Like, I can go on and on. Kyle. Fuck, man. Like, again, just so many people, Dominic, I can, I can just, Dominic supported the channel for a long time, I haven't really heard from him this year, I hope everything's cool, like, he hit me up on Facebook, so, uh, if you watch this, Dominic, I, hit me up, I just want to make sure everything's all good in your hood, but, yeah, those are my top five demos of 2022, Again, it's just my fucking opinion. So if you don't like it, I apologize. And I know it's mostly all like, you know, well, not really. It's pretty diverse, kind of. I mean, we have a black metal release, some altar of gore. But then, yeah, we have three very filthy, disgusting demos. So, yeah, that's just, you know, those really stuck out to me. And I'm going to stick by that decision right there. So. There's some close ones, but those are the five I'm going to choose. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails.